guys, another Batman trailer. I was not expecting one this soon. I thought they were gonna wait until more in January or even February, but we got one, so let's break it down. One of the things I noticed about this trailer, it's really Selena and Bruce heavy. We learn a little bit things that um, about more about Bruce, this Bruce Wayne that's more um, in this new type of Gotham, and then we learn a lot of things about Selena too. It's called the Bat and the Cat trailer, but everything we got in this trailer looks phenomenal i cannot wait the action the fight sequences the fucking explosions um seeing paul dano's riddler uh holy shit this film looks dark and i'm getting excited now some of the other things i like is uh, bruce and alfred's dynamic there's a scene in the trailer where bruce is like you lied to me alfred and alfred's like i forgot what alfred said something along the lines of um you're still wayne no matter what but so something i, I oh my god i'm getting so excited i'm really excited about this this film looks beautiful it it's gonna sound beautiful because we know the score is gonna be phenomenal and so edgy I always said if you guys go back in my other videos to Robert Pattinson is gonna be an incredible Batman and Bruce Wayne and what we've seen right now yeah it's gonna pan out really fucking well I'm excited for this world that Matt Reeves and Robert Pattinson are creating I love Zoe, Kra Zoe Kravitz as Catwoman already I can tell she's sexy she looks badass Oh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Um, I also like how Andy Serkis looks in the film as an Alfred. Oh my God. I, I'm just getting so excited. I'm very, very, I knew um, Robert Pattinson's Batman is going to be fucking phenomenal and Bruce Wayne. And I knew Zo uh, Zoe Kravitz's Catwoman is going to be cool. But the two I want to see is Colin Farrell as Penguin, which we know he's not going to be in the film that much. But I also want to see Paul Dano's Riddler. That's what I'm really excited for. But we get a lot of fight scenes in this trailer. Lots of action. This is an action heavy trailer. The only gripe that I have about this trailer is I'm getting nervous that they're starting to show too much in the trailers. We technically got three trailers so far. I don't want another one personally. I think everybody who wants to go see this film was on board with the fucking trailer before this one, but this is the selling point I think. Listen, Robert Pattinson looks like an awesome Bruce Wayne and Batman. Zoe Kravitz looks like an awesome, hot, sexy uh, Selena Kyle that's going to be badass. I've always been excited for um, Jeffrey Wright as Gordon. Andy Serkis as Alfred. Uh, Paul Dano, I'm just so excited to see. I want to see how he pans out as the Riddler. I want the Riddler done well on screen, not too campy like Jim Carrey's Riddler. Although I did enjoy me some Jim Carrey as a Riddler, even though he kind of played himself. Guys, I want to see Colin Farrell's Penguin 2. The score, oh my god, I cannot wait. This will probably be my movie of the year for 2022. Nothing really this groundbreaking as Batman's my favorite superhero, but I'm just saying guys, hopefully those are those are my initial thoughts on the trailer and how my hype is going for the film. I just hope they don't show, an, I, don't, I hope we don't get another trailer personally. I feel like we're going to get a final trailer but maybe pull take a book out of spider-man no way homes um how they handle their trailers no more just one this is the last one guys march 4th can't come sooner enough guys thanks for watching please subscribe for more and i will see you guys in the next one